In this video, we discuss string diagrams. We will have the opportunity to use string diagrams as an alternative graphical representation of categories, functors, and natural transformations. They will prove useful by showing visually that two expressions given by compositions of natural transformations are equal, instead of doing this algebraically. The visual representation of a category A is given by a two-dimensional space. To distinguish categories, we may use a color-coded scheme. However, in most cases, the context will make it clear which category we have in the two-dimensional space, and we will omit the color. A functor f is given by a string represented by the yellow line, where on the left of the string is the domain category, and on the right of the string is the codomain category. Again, the context will often make it clear what functor is being represented by the string, and we will usually just draw our strings in white. Finally, a natural transformation alpha is given by a dot, where the domain functor is given by the string above and the codomain by the string below. In this case, we will usually use a color-coded scheme for the natural transformations. This will give us the context for the rest of the diagram of functors and categories. Observe that the orientation of our string diagrams goes from top to bottom and left to right, which may differ from string diagrams you come across in other sources. Note that by naturality, String diagrams can be deformed by either raising or lowering the dots in the diagram. As long as the domain functor strings remain above the dot and the codomain functor strings remain below the dot. We recall that there are two types of composition of natural transformations. The first is vertical, where alpha followed by beta is defined on component x by composition of alpha x followed by beta x in the category b. In string diagrams, this is just alpha above beta. The second type of composition is horizontal, where alpha followed by beta here is defined on component x as either beta fx followed by k alpha x or h alpha x followed by beta gx, since they are equal by naturality of beta. Thus, in string diagrams, these equivalent expressions can be represented as follows, where the left diagram corresponds to the low road and the right diagram to the high road. The merit of using string diagrams is that we can often see when string diagrams are equal by using any of the observations we have already shown above. In other words, naturality becomes a manipulation of strings by easy-to-follow rules, which we have already listed.